Welcome to another mukbang with Trey, the DIY ninja. That's me. Today we're going to be eating lasagna. Okay, so I had this for dinner yesterday. And if you hear any crying, that's Peach on the Pug. He's just a crazy dude. He's crying for no reason, so ignore that. Anyways, I made some lasagna last night for dinner. And this is what I'm going to eat for lunch. Um just looked like this. It was good. It's from Costco. It's like, um, it's not regular lasagna. It's like, like sausage lasagna. The word sausage is weird to say in lasagna. Anyways, it's cold right now. I'm just going to cut a piece out. I'm like so lazy. Should I eat it cold? I feel like it would be good cold. Lasagna is like pizza. Like crustless pizza. Right? Anyways, I'm using a spoon. Maybe I need a fork. Oh, I just need a spoon. This might take forever. Um, like, should I get a bowl so I don't drop on myself? No, I'll just move this closer. Anyways, how's your day going? My day is going okay so far. Um, looks like my lips are feeling like tight. What do you mean by tight? Oh. <laughs> that sounded weird also. What I meant <laughs> is when you put liquid lipstick on and you don't use like a uh, lip balm or some kind of like chapstick or something, it makes your lips really dry and then it feels like they're like shriveling up. Not, I didn't mean like my lips so tight, you know. Get your mind out of the gutter. Oh, maybe it's just mine, anyways. You have to really be careful what you say on videos and online and what you tweet and stuff because it can be easily misconstrued. Um, this morning I decided to actually do my makeup. Let me just try some of this first. Mm. It was just crusty cheese. Um, and it might look a little crazy. I haven't really put on like a full face of makeup since my birthday and that was like two weeks ago. So I don't know why. I really don't. Usually I don't wear makeup every day. So it's just a lot of work. Like. You have to give mad respect to people that glam up every day. It's so much work. Like, I just can't. I can't anymore. Like, I'm just past that phase. Like, I'll do it once in a while, but most of the time, I'd rather not. It's just, I just don't have the energy. Like, I can't even heat up my own lunch today because I don't want to wait. I'm just too hungry. <laughs> It would taste a lot better hot though. Alright. I'll try one bite with like the pasta and the cheese and the sausage. I don't know where my camera is. There it is. Still good, but it tastes way better hot. Hold on, let me microwave and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. It's been like a minute. Here is my lasagna. Anyways, does heating up, like, does baking a lasagna in the oven that's frozen count as cooking? That counts to me. I don't know about you. What, what have I been up to? Um, I've been really lazy to film because I noticed like I don't want to have to like look presentable in front of the camera so I just don't film at all and then I just end up drawing. Um, got this really cool birthday present from my mom. She got me, um, well for my family. Um, they all got me and 
iPad Pro and Apple Pencil. So that's why you've been seeing a lot of like just sketching videos on my YouTube lately. And I used to draw like my whole life. Ever since I was a little kid, I would like draw my own outfits and well, I would want to be like a fashion designer and just sketch. I would just draw like everything. I was actually kind of weird, I guess. I would just go to like the park. Like we lived, I lived when I was little, like near this like park with a lot of trees by the ocean. It was really beautiful and I would just sit there and I would like draw pictures, draw the scenery, draw people that walk by, write poems. It was like really artsy. And then I was, I mean, I was always like that until I got a full-time job and that just freaking killed my like artistic like creativity and all I could think about was like oh work work boring work I was like eating my soul so now that I have more time to kind of like explore my creative side again I really like it like I love I forgot how much I missed drawing and sketching and now I'm learning how to like well I've always dabbled in it since you know I'm at indie app developer if you haven't checked out my games they're all free for you um, I get paid through ads just like YouTube so you should definitely download them I'll put a link in the description below but yeah, you can check it out um, I started making more graphics for my apps and then learning how to do like digital art and digital graphics is just really interesting to me like I love learning and also love like just creative projects so it was awesome Okay, did well this fit in my mouth? I don't know. A pretty small mouth. Let's try. Mm. Nope. <laughs> like, how do you do mukbang without? talking with your mouth full like I know it's so not proper etiquette but just warning you now that's the only way otherwise you're just gonna watch just me chewing the whole time <clears throat> that's not a um she's a baby chihuahua why are you barking? Where is she? <laughs> She's so funny. <laughs> Noah, it's okay. Such a funny girl. If you've never tried this Costco with sausage, um, you should. It kind of tastes better to me than regular lasagna. Uh, I was trying to get the label. Hold on, let me see. Let's it. So it's Costco brand lasagna, and it's all natural Italian sausage and beef lasagna. Should give this a try. Okay. So exhausted, and I don't even. Well, I guess I know why. Oh yeah, so let me tell you. Went to the hospital the other day, not because something was wrong, but just for like a checkup and to get um my traveler's vaccines because my husband and um all my in-laws were gonna go to Thailand and Japan, and I've never been out of the country, so. 
surprisingly I only needed one shot because I was up to date with all the rest of them. Um, and I got a typh typhoid fever shot and they have to inject it into your muscle. Oh my god, that thing, like it didn't hurt during the injection but afterwards my whole hand was like, like horrible. It was hurting a lot. But maybe that's why I'm feeling like lethargic. Well, that and it's like, you know, maybe I shouldn't talk about that stuff while we're eating. But, you know, being a woman, every month we have to like go through a lot. So, that's me right now. I've been trying to push myself to like do things more when I'm not feeling well. I don't know if that's good or bad, but I figure I should just try to like get into some kind of routine. So I actually worked out yesterday. That probably doesn't help the fact. Like for me working out, people that work out, I'm like, oh, you get so much energy. Like you're gonna love it. No. I think I said this in the last video. No, I just feel exhausted. It does not have that effect on me. I just feel pain and exhaustion. But. Oh! Excuse me. I believe I just spilled. <laughs> I spilled my tea all over the place. I'll be right back. <sighs> so clumsy. But did you see that? I had my typhoid shot on this side and like my hand just, I was holding my teacup and it just like stopped working. So I sl ended up slamming my teacup sideways on the counter. So yeah, if you don't know me, biggest klutz in the world right before your eyes. Like, honestly, I amaze myself to this day. I'm just like, wow, that was amazingly clumsy. How do you do it? Let's see if my phone still works. Oh, yep, we're good. My poor phone too. I probably dropped it like 10,000 times and it still works. Okay. Just like water everywhere. Let's try to actually use the other hand. Put it on this side. Oh man! I just keep finding like splashes all over the place. Anyways, anyway, back to the show. Back to eating. Mm. I don't know why I heat this up. It is now cold again. That was fast. Anyways. <gasps> really? Dang it! Just dropped it on the table. <laughs> you know what? We'll clean that up later. <sighs> mm. Cannot function today. Mm -mm -mm. Something about like baked cheese that is so delicious. And then you have like the spiciness from the sausage, the chewiness from the noodles and the pasta. Mm, the delicious. What is the delicious? That's how I say delicious. I tend to say things wrong on purpose. I don't know why. Just a thing. And like when something's like really good, I don't say like, oh, this is so yummy. I'm always like, that was yumtress. As if these were real vocabulary words in the English dictionary, but they're not. So I think only people that know me, understand what I'm saying sometimes. It's 
anyone else have this issue where there's, there's crusty cheese on top and then you try to like cut through the layer only you only get the top layer of the lasagna so you just eat all the cheese at once and then all the rest is just like the pasta and the meat and the sauce mm, happens to me all the time but i'm not complaining Let's see if this will fit in my mouth. This looks quite large. Mmm, yum. Do you want some? So good. I don't think it looks pretty affordable. I believe you get two of these for like, I'm gonna say $15. I don't think I can do less. Kind of. Not too bad. Have you noticed, like, when you watch other eating shows, it looks like they don't chew their food. And they just swallow it. When I film eating shows, too, I notice, like, I don't want to chew my food because it takes forever. And then I can't talk. So I just try to swallow as fast as possible. But if I were eating, like, normally, I'd be chewing this for at least, like, a good 30 seconds. Then again, some people just don't chew their food anyway, so... Like, one of my best friends, she will just like take one bite, like chew once and then swallow it. So she eats her food really fast. And it takes me forever. Oh, mm. <laughs> this must not be good to look at, but mm. whatever. Like snoring. He snores like a human. So does Nala. Alright. Next thing I should do is like introduce them. Maybe I'll do this in this video. After I eat, I'll show you what they look like. They're super cute. If you follow me on Snapchat and Instagram, you've probably seen them before. I think they're like ridiculously cute, but then maybe I'm just like, you know how moms think all oh, their babies like the cutest? That's how I feel about my dogs. Like, probably to some people, they're like, those dogs are not cute at all. But to me, they really are the cutest. Mm -hmm. Almost done. I'm gonna save the rest of this for dinner later and also for my husband because he needs to eat too. Oh my god, do you ever like pretend fight over food with your significant other? Like me and my husband will like will be like, don't eat all the pie, like I want some of that pie. Like he'll get mad at me if I eat all the food. Like, dang, girls gotta eat. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I eat all the food. But he'll like, he loves to regulate his food, so he tends to try to regulate mine. I'm like, bro, you want to be all buff and hot and ripped and good looking? That's on you. Don't put that pressure on me because that's not how I live my life, okay? I like to just be like marshmallow, um, weak, barely able to move. That's just, that's just who I am. Oh, Nala, you want to be in the coming again? No, I'm gonna come in front of the camera. Come here. Come here. 
So this is Nala, she's a baby chihuahua, but she's 10 years old, and she's super cuddly. She's like the best to cuddle with, because she's so soft and sweet. <laughs> she's the cutest. She loves belly rubs, but man, can she be feisty. If she doesn't know you, she is not the friendliest, but when she does, when she like gets used to you, she's like the sweetest ever. Mm. Mm, sweet dog. This is my sweet dog, Lindala. Mm, Peach, do you want to say hi? This is Peach on the Pug. He's a black pug and he smells lasagna. That's not for babies. That's not for babies. He's <laughs> so cute. But yeah, he is about four and a half years old. He's usually pretty hyper. I'm surprised he's letting me hold him and staying still for this long. He's a sweetie. He has like satin fur, so it's like, was like sateen. It's like shiny and soft. And now he's wiggly. Okay, you guys. Thanks for joining me on my eating show. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to thumbs up the video and subscribe to be part of the Ninja Nation. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.